What's going on guys? It's your boy Triple G coming back with another video today guys. We are going to talk about the elephant in the room, what you guys are worried about and the most talk thing in the community, which is the monetization aspect of the game and what we can expect. If you guys are interested to the video, stay tuned. One of the most topics, guys, that most people are talking about in the community right now is about the pay to win aspect. And I know it's one of those things like some people are complaining, other people are like, shut up, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But it is kind of an unfair gaming experience whenever you just always get clobbered. And I know this is kind of a cheesy subject to a lot of people, but. A lot of community members have voiced their opinions about this, even content creators, even beta testers about this particular thing. And what am I talking about? Well, the fact is, is that when we first drop into the game, most players are going to be looking for, you know, the fastest approach to the cap. And what I mean by the cap is, is that the Paragon level, depending on your server date, is going to cap the level in which your player level can be. And yeah, that's good and fine so that people can catch up. But, you know, as you grind away and get your equipment, you're not going to be able to get Legendary Crest, Legendary Gems, especially the Legendary Gems, because you can put them onto your equipment and guess what you have to buy those in the store and you can buy out a lot of stuff so imagine a guy comes into the game right and he buys out the battle pass immediately and he buys out in the store all kinds of gems that you you know are trying to grind away at which the grind is way too long to try to get just a single legendary gem maybe let alone a couple and there's 10 levels to those so let's say you get to level one phew, and that's going to take a while as a free to play. And then you're going to go into PVP and you're going to get smashed. Yes, you can play the game just casually and be just a casual player. But if you're trying to compete, you're going to get absolutely obliterated. So a lot of people are upset about this and rightfully so because it allows somebody to just swipe their card and immediately get the best of the best without actually learning the game, without actually grinding. Now, will that even out later on? Well, the beta testers... You know, a lot of them have mixed feelings about that. A lot of them think that there's absolutely no way you're just going to get obliterated for six months and then you're just going to quit the game. But, hey, I guess we'll see. I'm in it for the long run. I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to try to create content and give some of the best tips and tricks that I can find to you guys. One of the things is about what it takes to actually get some of these legendary gems. And this is just a short, brief little explanation, but... As you can see, like you're grinding away, you're doing, you know, your dungeon crawlings, you're going through all the, the different dungeons and, you know, you're, you're doing your rifts and stuff like that. And you come across your equipments and your, and your gems and different things, but you have to combine them, right? And so you can see right here, just getting into the next rank of gem. And then from those ranks of gems, you have to even have an echo crystal, which you have to grind away at just to get to the next rank of gems and so forth and so on. By the time you get all the way up to legendary gems and you get your first level of legendary gem, which is a good accomplishment, you've been grinding for quite some time. These guys are immediately going to buy this up. They're immediately going to swipe that credit card and, you know, woo, they're going to immediately get the boost that are associated with that. And some of these boosts are 30 to 40% on some of the things. Your life, your attacking, everything is going to be doubled, if not tripled. And then you have 10 levels of those legendary gems that you can grind away at. And that's just insane. That's like three to 400% boosts um, on some things if you if you perfectly put together the, the right equipment and the right uh, stones and stuff like that. But it's just crazy the amount of extra uh, power you will have just off of this. So a guy that's capped at his Paragon level and a guy who, you know, has only, let's say, level 12 or 13 on his equipment, if he has legendary gems infused into it, 
say goodbye, guys. That's it. I mean, you're going to get obliterated, especially trying to do things like shadows versus the immortals or things like that. Um, so that's what a lot of people are concerned about, and rightfully so. If you guys would, leave a comment down below in the video of what you think or whatever. Um, you know, I think maybe if the community spoke out enough, I don't think it's going to change the fact that they're going to do anything about it. I mean, the game is going to be what it is. Um, and they've designed it this way. Shoot, many games of the same caliber in mobile are going to be the same way. But if you would, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, guys. Peace.